If you use CurseForge with Minecraft on a frequent basis, you might have run into Exit Code 1. If you're tired of this nuisance, we're going to run a couple of troubleshoots and help you out. The first thing you want to try doing is updating your graphics card. Now that depends on the kind of graphics card you have. I have a, an NVIDIA graphics card, a GeForce RTX graphics card for example. And uh, in order to do that, you want to head on over to Google Chrome and Based on your specific graphics card, you want to type in, uh, let's say I have an NVIDIA one, so it'd be NVIDIA graphics card driver updates. Like so, and you'll see NVIDIA driver downloads. You want to go on here and you want to type in your specific GPU, right? And you can take note of that from the task manager right here under performance. You'll see here the information is given, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4060. So you'll be able to put that in right here, or you could download their NVIDIA app. They have an app for this, and um, I'll open that up here. GeForce Experience, it's called. So uh, to download this, you wanna just, again, open a Chrome tab, type in GeForce Experience. It's like so. You wanna click on this link, and you wanna download now. Once you've downloaded it, you're on this page, you wanna click on drivers and um, check for updates. And th this is the latest game ready driver. So you just express installation and it will automatically update your driver for you. Typically this could cause issues with Minecraft and Curse Forge. If your drivers are outdated, it will bring up error codes when you're trying to start things because the drivers are not up to date with the latest version of Minecraft. Um, so that could be what's causing you problems. Now, let's say that's not your problem. That's not your issue. We'll move on to the next thing. Now, graphics drivers aren't, aren't the only thing that could be out of date. It could be your CPU drivers. Now, let's say you're running an AMD CPU, right? Um, and you want to update it. You just want to head on over to Google Chrome and you want to type in AMD CPU driver updates. This looks so. And you'll see drivers and support for processors and graphics. You want to click on that and download Windows drivers. Or if you're running a Linux, you just want to download that. If that's not the case, if you don't have an AMD one, you have an Intel CPU, just type in Intel drivers update. It's like so. Intel driver and support assistant should pop up right here. You just want to click on that and download this Intel driver support assistant. It's an application that will automatically download the latest drivers for your CPU and you won't have to run into problems like this ever again. This should potentially solve your error. It should fix your issue. My drivers and my CPU are, are up to date. If I were to run Curse Forge right now, it'd be fine. So I can't exactly say this issue would be, um, or this troubleshoot helps you exactly. But if not, um, we'll move on to the next thing. So another thing relating to updates, as you can see here in the bottom right of my screen, Windows needs an update. So if I click on that, it will take me to the Windows update and tell me to update Windows to the latest version. This could potentially be what's causing you problems. If your Windows is not updated, you want to make sure that's happened. To make sure uh, to, to check for a Windows update, you want to head on over to your search icon bar here, right here, or you just want to click on the Windows key on your keyboard and type in settings. Open up settings and head on over to update, Windows update. Once you're there, you just want to click on restart now or whatever else it has for you here. You could schedule a restart as well. It will automatically update for you. And when your computer restarts, you should have the latest version of Windows installed. I don't have that yet. I should probably do that. And, um, uh, but that's not the concern right now. That should potentially fix your error. If not, then let's try something else. All right. So the next thing that could be causing you an issue is the, the mod folder itself. So I have CurseForge open here, and this is a Minecraft profile. I don't have any mods installed currently, but if I were to go on over to mods, and I were to install JEI, for example, or Nature's Compass, or Collective, or Journey Map, for example, what, 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 whichever mod, some of these mods could be incompatible with each other, or could be incompatible with the version of Forge. So all of these have 1.21 in their versions. You can see there, 1.21, 1.21, 1.21. And that's what I have here, game version. But it could be that your your profile is not 1.21. It's a different version of the game. It could be an outdated version of Forge, right? So uh, you want to make sure that this um, is compatible, that the versions of the mods you are installing are compatible with this number right here, game version. 
you want to make sure that is accurate um, you can't do that from here you'd have to restart your thing audible the profile automatically updates and uh, you can even repair profile if, if the mods are incompatible let's say some of these aren't working some of the mods are corrupted um, you just want to open your profile just like so click on three dots and click on repair profile this is something that curseforge automatically gives you um, if you have like a really big mod pack i don't have a lot of mods here just three but if you have something in the numbers of like 100 mods then this repair profile function is very useful it'll help you out uh, to test if any mods are causing you issues, you can just click on the three dots, click on open folder, head on over to mods, and then selectively disable whichever mod you want. Let's just take this one out, then you just want to play and uh, see if you come into that error. If not, then that mod is not causing you the issue, that's not the problem, and so on and so forth. Process of elimination. Right. Um, but if that's also not what's going on, it could be the number of mods you have installed. Um, if you have something like 300 mods installed, some crazy number like that, um, sometimes the mods conflict and it causes too much strain on your computer in general, and your computer's not able to keep up. So that could be what's causing this error code, um, and, and you won't be able to start CurseForge. So um, you should configure your mods, install a limited number. I'd say 20 and above mods is good enough. Maybe 100 is, is, is a lot. Honestly, I'm not sure why you would need so many mods, but that could be what's causing you an issue. You should look into that, but if that's not what's causing you a problem and you've been using hundreds of mods before, then it could be your CurseForge itself. You can try reinstalling CurseForge. To do that, you just want to head on over to your search, type in Control Panel, head on over to Uninstall a Program. Here you want to locate CurseForge, right-click it, Uninstall. I'm not going to do that, but you should. And once you've done that, head on over to Google Chrome, just type in CurseForge, and reinstall it. Just from here. Cool. So, that would be how exactly to fix error code, or the error code, exit code one. Um, I hope this video has proven useful to you. I hope you have fixed your error and are no longer frustrated and annoyed with this recurring, consistent error. And I will catch you guys a different time.